Welcome back to another video. So in the previous video we started modeling the UFO and in this video I'd like to show you some methods in order to engrave some detail into the UFO itself. So we've actually engraved some patterns inward and also created some shapes outside of the UFO. I'm going to show you how to do these in this video and then in my own time I'll go around and do some more patterns and then we'll move on. So here's what we did previously. I'm going to go to edit delete by type history to get rid of all of our history our modifications and uh, first thing I'm going to do is make a bit more detail around this so edit mesh insert edge loop tool I'm going to make around four edge loops so we have some detail to work with some vertices and um, what we're going to do firstly is use booleans in Maya to engrave patterns in this geometry and to do that we go to mesh booleans and I use difference which cuts a hole in the geometry. Union kind of merges the geometry together and but the thing we're interested in is the difference for now. So to do this we firstly create a shape which is separate from this object so go to objects mode I'm going to create a cube to start with. It's a very thin cube let's vertex snap it to the center bring it up a tad so we can see it. So I just want to create a little shape to work with so I can engrave it. Feel free to make this as complicated as you like, this shape. Let's just uh, bring these in a bit and extrude these faces out. So I'm going to make a similar shape I did here, so in this one here. So just bringing it down so go into an object, framing up on this, and just going to get these vertices and bring them in a bit so it's thinner. Okay, that'll do. And the last thing, let's just grab these vertices from the side view and make this a little bit thinner, like so. Okay, so instead of making all of the um, these engravings together, um, we're going to do them separately because using booleans in Maya can be some trouble even though it can save some shortcuts and I'll explain what I mean in a sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shading wireframe on shaded so now we can see the wireframe on all of the objects and I'm just going to line this up to the UFO so I'm going to use this part of the UFO. Just rotate things, put it into place the way we want, slightly angled. That's cool and we're going to bring it down like so. So that looks pretty nice. Um, let's just bring it up a tad. If these axes aren't working out for you, you can press Control shift right click and we can go to an object mode. Then we can bring it upwards or downwards in the right direction, like so. So I'm going to bring it up a tad. Okay, so making sure it doesn't go through the bottom of it, that's, that's good. So we select the uh, UFO firstly, the subject object, and then we select the shape. Then we can go to Mesh, Booleans, Difference and as you can see we now have an engraving in the UFO but we might want to duplicate this object in case we want to use it again because when we use difference uh, the object deletes itself so let's do that again mesh boolean difference okay so this isn't very deep right now this um, engravement so I'm going to get the faces put them down a bit more like so okay that's not going through that's good so as you can see we have some problems here because we have a face here that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all these sides. And the thing is, Unity just likes tries and polys on on geometry, basically. So we need to separate this this uh, face into different faces with three or four sides. And it's quite simple to do that. We can just firstly work with what we have. So let's go to a vertex. I'm going to go to the merge vertex tool and bring this up like so, because there's nothing here to attach to. Okay so that deals with that and like this one as well I'm going to bring these ones down because there's nothing to attach the vertex to here okay now we can use our um, splits interactive split tool to create more shapes for this face so straight away this is a triangle that's fine and we can just repeat the same thing until we have uh, polys and tries in our game because Unity by default um, separates all the geometry and triangles as you can see so we can make things easier for Unity by doing this as well and none of these faces will be noticeable in the game because they're all at the same angle going downwards okay so 
one, two, three, four, that's four sides, that's three, that is three as well. So just going down and separating things out. So using booleans can save some time, but at the same time you need to be careful to make sure your geometry is correct. So one, two, three, four, that's a four side, that's a four side. And I think that's fine for now, this this bit of geometry. Okay, so that's our first piece. And feel free to, if you want to, just to grab some edges and move them out if you'd like. So for example, these two edges. And just uh, get the scale tool, move it out, things like that. So that's one object. So the second one, if we can check, is this kind of Tetris shaped object here. And uh, we're going to use the same technique. So just get a cube, like so. It doesn't have to be very thick making it a bit thinner and just using the extrude tool to create the shape basically so one here frame up on it press G and just repeat the previous thing we've been doing to create the little shape pressing G again boom okay so this this side is a bit thick I'm just gonna grab these vertices bring them in and bring these in as well Okay, that's good. So I want to duplicate this object. I'm going to press com Command and D, change the X scale to minus one, then it will turn around. Okay, so we've got these both selected. I'm going to merge them, mesh, combine to one object. And as you can see, the pivot point is nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's right in the middle of the scene. So <laughs> all we need to do is press D, maybe vertex snap it here. Let's move this object below our first engravement, just to add a bit more detail to the scene. Like I say, it's better to do the booleans in, in chunks rather than one big complicated object because of this um, the problem we have with creating polys and tries. Just lining things up, like so. Angling it down to match the UFO shape, bringing it down. Command shift, sorry, control shift, right click. It's in an object mode already, that comes in handy. Okay, so select the subject object, select the shape, and mesh, booleans, difference. And if we open the options, there's not much to play with. We can just press preserve color, which doesn't apply to us here. So boom, apply. And uh, the object has been separated like so. So it's a bit more complicated this time. I might actually not do it like that. I might bring it down a tad so it's not interacting with these edges here might be a bit easier for us to edit okay let's do that again mesh billions difference okay I think that's a bit easier to work with so let's see what we have now let's go to a vertex mode once again merge vertex tool I'm gonna to merge these to the bottom okay and this is not attaching to anything either so I'm gonna merge it to this edge here like so so I think that's all we can do here. So again, get the interactive split tool out and start creating some four-sided and three-sided shapes. Okay, so that's a four-sided shape, that's good. We can do it over here. And whatever you do one side, we can do the other side. Just going around the object. Okay, so this one's a bit uh, bit tight, but we can deal with that. Okay, that can be joined onto there. This one can be joined onto here. Um, and I think that's correct. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we need to separate one more thing. So bringing this one up there. Okay. So it's quite tight, but if we zoom right in, we can see that this is a triangle. This is a this is a um, one, two, three, four, four-sided shape. So Unity will like this. Okay. So in the real in a real world in a real game project, I'd bring all these vertices down so they're not quite as close together. Okay. So as you can see, we've done two objects now. The last one I did was just this um, engravement here, just with one. Um, 
one rectangle but instead of using the uh, booleans I just simply created some more geometry so it's quite simple to do all I did was get the interactive split tool and then go beyond this section of the UFO and just split it halfway and do the same thing again here split this one halfway as well and all we need to do guys is grab this edge and bevel it out basically like so then we have a rectangle so I've got a soft selection on here for some reason um, so all we need to do is double click on the tool and where it says soft selection just untick this and then it will go away okay so we might want to make this a bit thicker just grab an edge bring it out a bit and grab, bring this one bring it out a bit as well and um, we can do it for this one as well so just bevel the edge out a bit or we can just change the offset like so okay so as you can see it's pretty nice stuff um, we might have a five sided object here one two three four five okay we have a six sided so again get the interactive split tool out and simply just join these on together like so one two three okay one more time let's bring this one inwards like that for example and just need to be careful about your three and four side okay one two three four yeah that's fine one two three four one two three four five so just move just merging these on together and and this is another way we can set this up just by creating geometry ourselves. then we can get these faces and extrude them downwards in a world mode let's say like so cool so we've made some detail now so the last section to deal with is this part here that sticks up from the UFO and to do this I would totally ignore this section and move on to this one so just get the interactive split tool out and if we double click this we can go into the properties and I've put smag uh, snap magnets to 4 which means it now s snaps to each quarter of the edge like so so we can just go down like so and create a little ridge here okay so with this edge selected we can go into a slide edge tool for example bring it down in a relative mode if it's an absolute mode it won't change relative to the shape of the mesh so it's a good thing to know as well okay and uh, again get the interactive split tool we can then just split this triangle out like so and for this one we can just split it down the side here okay that deals with that and now we can just grab the edges uh, the faces sorry go into a face mode extrude these out okay in a weld mode so they go straight upwards okay and I want to make these arrows a bit bigger again and to do this again we need to split this into two again so again get that split edge tool out split another triangle in here and I think that's a quarter of a way we don't do that so so instead of four segments we just need one this time and just making another triangle like so going straight down the middle of this cube if I can get that right let's just go around join it onto the end and now we have some faces to work with to extrude out one more time extrude face going up okay so as you guys can see it's, this is just one way to add detail to our UFO I'm going to export it into unity now and see see if it works so we, all we need to be careful with, with with using booleans and creating geometry from scratch is uh, to make sure we're working with triangles and and polys so four and three sided shapes so then when we import it into unity nothing can go wrong okay so let's just select this object I'm just going to go double check my um, hierarchy just to make sure nothing's parented to the UFO itself file export selection I'm in my models folder of my project let's say UFO version 2 export selection hop over to unity this time and I haven't changed the uh, the units of measurement so it might be very very small go into my models UFO version 2 looks good let's change it to, to 10 or something because I haven't changed that yet apply, let's drag it into the scene, still quite small and if we scale up and turn around we can go ahead and see what we've created turn around 
Okay, that's look that looks pretty good to me. So let's remove that animation. There's no animation here. So there's only got one material Lambert one. Okay, guys. So as you can see, everything's smooth. Nothing's the geometry hasn't deformed when we import it into Unity, even though we can't work with these triangles very well. So in the next video, I'll go around the UFO and make some more image patterns, and then we'll deal with texturing it, making it look even better. So thanks for watching the video.